All right, so I was originally going to do five items for this video, and then I started opening some packages, going through my closet, and I was like, yeah, right. No way I can only do five. I could probably do 30, but I narrowed it down to 10, so we've got 10 essentials for you here. We've got a mix of new and old in this one, mostly new though. Some really exciting items that I think you guys are gonna like to add some color to your outfits. I've got a lot to get into, jackets, flannels, pants, sneakers, you know the deal. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Leave that like if you do. And that's that, a brief intro, let's dive in. The fall is the perfect season to experiment with different textures and colors. This corduroy button-up shirt from Urban Outfitters is how you do that. I look at something like this as you don't see anybody rocking colorful corduroy shirts. It's just not something that you see. So I kinda like that challenge. I kinda like the uniqueness that a shirt like this can offer. It's a slippery slope. If you rock a corduroy shirt in the wrong color, there was a chance that you could look like an 80 year old man. Some forest green sneakers or some Tims will make this look perfect for the season. And just for reference, I'm 6'2", 185. This is a size large. It fits me perfectly. It's a little bit more on the roomier side. If you guys are interested in any of the items I'm showing you here, they'll be linked for you down in the description. And if you wanna see how I style them even further, make sure you're following me on Instagram where you'll see all of this stuff. I don't know about you guys, but when the temperature drops for the first time, I get a little extra. I'm not like, oh, I need a long sleeve t-shirt or maybe even a flannel. I'm like, oh, where's my jacket? What can I throw on? What kind of coat can I throw on right now to deal with this 10 to 15 degree drop in temperature? So I get a little bit extra, but that's a good thing. These jackets that I'm gonna show you, there's different degrees to them. Somewhat cold, cold, and really cold. I'm a meteorologist on the weekends, if you, if you didn't know that. So I'm gonna break down the appropriate jackets for these times. Starting off with the somewhat cold days, we've got the yarn zip jacket from Uniqlo. This is probably one of the better items on this list. It's affordable, it's cozy, and it's cool looking. It's got that fluffy Sherpa type feel to it, and that's all it is. It is literally only that material. There's not a lining, there's a zipper in the front, and a couple pockets, that's it. You really don't get a whole lot out of this jacket other than the look and the feel. And for some of you, that might be all you need. Rock a hoodie underneath it though and add some layers, and this is a good look. There are so many different colors as well. 30 bucks for this, You, I don't like to say this, but you can't go wrong. If you guys wanna see more stuff from Uniqlo, let me know down in the comment section because I don't cover them. Okay, and then for the cold days, we've got the North Face Denali 2 jacket. Wow, look at this guy right here. Talk about a color pop, talk about 90s, talk about tried and true warmth. Where I'm at in New England, you see a ton of people wearing North Face stuff. This is a nice way to achieve that retro look while still staying warm. I could probably do an entire video on this jacket. There's so much to point out, but I'm not gonna do that. We have a lot to get into. Yellow is one of my favorite fall colors, so you will see me wearing this often. And then also that high cut neck collar. I like that look a lot. If it gets super cold, zip that thing all the way up and you know protect your neck. We covered somewhat cold, cold, and now let's get into really cold. We've got the Carhartt Detroit jacket. Now I've talked about this thing plenty of times, so I'm gonna keep this brief. This guy right here is from Carhartt Work in Progress. Now regular inline Carhartt just released a Detroit jacket that looks identical. The fit will be somewhat different, but that's about it. It'll be a little bit roomier, a little bit boxier, but it will be just as warm. It's gonna be that same duck brown canvas and it is fleece lined. Now this is an extra large. If I was to buy the inline Carhartt version, I would go with a large, certainly size down. This one is 200 something. The inline version is 89 to 99. So it is much cheaper, but just as warm. And one of my favorite things to do is layer this with a color pop. So maybe a yellow, maybe even a lilac or purple hoodie. When you do that, you get a cool look because this is workwear, this is rugged, and then you throw a pastel color on. 
underneath it or something loud, it just changes the vibe. This also provides a nice earth tone, which is always acceptable this time of year. Okay, so how about some sneakers? I don't have any boots in this one because we're just not there yet. I'm still full blown sneaker mode and I think a lot of you probably are too. First up, Jordan 1s. I didn't have these on my top 10 Jordans for the fall video. If you missed that, go check it out. It's a good one. And I just overlooked this shoe. Somehow, I did. You guys let me know about it. So, we've got the Jordan 1 High Mocha. You can obviously see that I lace swapped these. Some people will catch feelings on that and not like the shoe. It's all good. I'm not afraid to do a lace swap. That Mocha Brown New Buck is really nice, but it's a plain shoe. I couldn't help but throw some different laces in there. So many different options. You know, reds, yellows, maroons, whatever you want to do. I would literally be crazy to not feature Jordan 1s in this video. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative, check out the threes. You can still get them for a reasonable price. If you ever wanted to know what a beautiful pair of Air Force 1s looks like, it's these. I was laughing when I bought this shoe because I got it for under retail. I tried on the sneakers app, I took an L, and I was bummed. I was like, notify me, remind me, all that BS that never ever works. Immediately I went on eBay and I was able to get them for under retail. What? 120 and I got them for like 115 or something like that. Someone was like, offer up. Offered 115, shipped, they got authenticated, sent to me within four days. I got them quicker and under retail than if I had bought them on the sneakers app. You love to see it. If you wanna see a deeper dive into anything I'm showing you here, it might pop up on my new series, which is what to wear next. I've only done one of them, but I plan to do more. So subscribe if you're new, and then go check out that other video if you wanna know what I'm talking about. And then next, another shoe that just showed up today. A lot of people have said that this shoe is a brick. You can't make any money on it reselling. They're sitting, oh well. Music to my ears, the Orange Blaze Jordan 5s. Trust me when I tell you that this is a good one. The leather quality, I like it. It feels softer than normal. It's smooth. That outsole, how it's kind of smoked out, and then the orange literally blazing. The midsole, good pair of Jordans right here. On top of everything, this retro is bulky. It looks big, so when you're wearing a bigger jacket or layered up, it fits. Bulky shoes, bulky jacket, it works. It doesn't look top heavy. Okay, so next. You didn't think I was gonna leave flannels off this, right? Believe it or not, I've never owned an Urban Outfitters flannel until now. This is probably the lightest weight flannel that I've ever bought. It is a thin layer. So if you're in a warm area and the temperature doesn't drop substantially, right here, man, this is the perfect option to give you that fall look, but not be that heavy brushed fleece like the one that I'm wearing. Just because I'm being quick with it, the color is what drew me in here. The combination of this light blue and the orange hit, loved it. Immediately grabbed it. This fit right here, it'll work. Look for those flannels with a bunch of different colors in them that are different than the standard buffalo plaid. Red and black, everyone's got it. Everyone offers it. You don't see this color combination very often. Look at these guys right here. These are cuffed joggers from Talentless. I've shown them to you before and I'm gonna show them to you again because each season they get more unique. What do I like about these? For one, the fit. It's got that vintage cuffed jogger bottom that I really like around the ankle area. It's my preference in sweats right now. So this is the style that I'm looking for. These were substantially darker when I first got them. Every time you wash them, they get a little bit more faded, a little bit lighter, and I love that look. You know we gotta get into a hoodie. Hoodies are the best clothing item on earth. This is just their standard pullover sweatshirt right here, and I'm only showing it to you, one, because of the price, two, because I think they're comfortable, and three, the color. Nike offers so many unique colors. This one is like a greenish gray, and I hadn't seen anything like it. I got it on sale. Simply put, this is just classic. It's reliable. So if you have a new pair of shoes that you don't really know what to wear with, Nike hoodie, man. <laughs> Nike hoodie, it kinda mails in the outfit a little bit, but it is very dependable and essential. So 
I very much hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If there's any fall content that you wanna see, specific video ideas, leave it down in the comment section. Leave a like for me one time if you enjoyed this and wanna see more of it. Subscribe if you're new here. A lot of content is on the way. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be safe out there. Peace.